All right, um, a review of a book. Okay, that's pretty standard. Um, <clears throat> but you know what? I don't think that people read book reviews all that often. I think um, oftentimes the person just says, well, well, okay, if I like the title, if I know someone involved, uh, all right, I'm going to read the book anyway. I don't need to read the review of the book. I'll read the book. Um, you know, people that are in the field or, or, or however you want to phrase it um, that keep up with the literature, you know, might be reading the book or grad students or someone else might be reading the book. Uh, so I start to think and I'm thinking like, all right, so how can I make the review more enticing? Well, I think what I should do is is seek out, you know, not the editors, not the people in this book, you know, because I know what they have to say. I, I pretty much got um, their perspective on, on things and I understand that. But why don't I get out there and see where the rubber meets the road, you know, where the... Um, where the, where the learning actually takes place, like hit the classroom, um, see what some of the most accomplished creative writing teachers in the state of Kentucky are doing right now. So, you know, I, I check all the, the online syllabi for UK, for WKU, I find, find, out that, um, find out that Dr. Dale Rigby, the creative nonfiction essayist, um, has a course that meets on a Monday night you know, like 5.30 to 8.15, something like that. Um, and then I find out that Frank X. Walker, the poet at University of Kentucky, has a Tuesday evening class that meets from 5 to 7.30, something along those lines. Um, so I email out, you know, and I, I reach out and I say, you know, hey, can I, can I come and listen to your class? See, see just like up to the minute, you know, what you're teaching today and what the, the most informed people the, the students and, and these teachers, what they're doing in this moment um, uh, of creative writing, you know. Um, so anyway, I, I go and I do these interviews and I, I talk to them. I get their perspectives. I see some of the assignments that they're using and I, I basically ask them about their assignments to explain some of the things that then, you know, connect back to what I'm seeing in this book. 